friends, it's Mr. Poulis. Today you're going to be making artwork that uses all different types of lines. Before we get started, in my demonstrations, I like to start with a marker. It makes it really easy for you to see what I'm doing on the computer screen, but I recommend that you start with a pencil. It makes it easier to fix your mistakes if you were really unhappy with a line. Let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to start with is a straight line. And in order to make it super, super straight, there are two things I can do. The first is to fold my paper and just crease that with my fingers. And when I undo it, I can see, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but I can see a pretty nice straight line right there. And I can use my marker or my crayon or whatever that is to trace from one edge all the way, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until it comes right off of the page. Now, if you are using a marker, um, you want to make sure that you have another paper or something underneath so that you don't get marker on mom and dad's table. But if you're using a pencil or a crayon or something, you don't have to worry so much about that. Now, the other way that you could make a straight line would be to use a ruler. And this might be a little hard for some of you. So when we use our ruler, we want to use my helper hand, the hand that is not holding the marker or the crayon, and I spread it out nice and wide, as wide as I can. Now, I've got much bigger hands than you do, so it's a little bit easier for me. But the idea is that you push down, you get this where you want it, and you push down pretty hard with that hand so that this ruler doesn't move. And with my drawing hand, now I can come across and make my super straight line. Great. The next thing I'm going to do is start thinking about different types of lines. And we had talked about them in class earlier, and I had them up on the board. But one of the types of lines is a wavy line. So a wavy line is going to bounce up and down like a wave. So I start at the edge of my paper, and I come up with a little hill, and then a little valley, up and down, up and down. And I'm not going to stop until my marker touches the edge of the page. Now the next type of line that we'll talk about is a zigzag. And a zigzag goes up and down just like the wavy line does, except it has sharp points. So a straight line up, a straight line down, a straight line up, a straight line down. Keep going. Straight line up, a straight line down, a straight line up, a straight line down. Okay. You want these to be kind of big, although it doesn't really matter. I've only got five of these points on my page. Now the next line that we've talked about was a dotted line. And it could be a dash or a dot. I like to make little dashes sometimes. And I start at one end, keep going, and I'm pretending that there is some sort of invisible line that goes across here. And I'm skipping some spaces and adding a new dash. And this is going to go all the way across my paper. Now if you have room, and you want to come up with your own type of line, it could be a squiggly line. It could be a curly line. It could be some sort of crazy line or a combination of everything that we've done. That is totally up to you. Just make sure that it starts on the edge of the paper and it ends on the edge of the paper. And what you have is a nice, sectioned off paper where I could come and add color into each of these sections and it's going to look really cool. And there you have it. There's my crazy line drawing. And you can see how many types of lines I used. And each one of these sections got colored. And I actually, it looks like I missed a couple of spots. So I could go in there with any color I'd like. So remember that where you put the lines is up to you. The types of lines that you use is up to you. The colors are up to you. Right? Everybody's is going to look a little bit different. And that's okay. That's what makes this awesome. So. Next week, when we start, I'm going to just ask you to have these with you so that we can hold them up and we can share them and everybody gets to see all the cool work that you did. Don't worry if it didn't come out exactly the way that you want it to, okay? This is one of our early projects. We're practice, practice, practicing, all right? I'll see you guys next week.